Now app for this camera is also available for Android as well as for iOS. We'll be using Android in this video. So let's go on to the Google Play Store and search for HD Mini Cam app. Right in there, click on to the first one and hit the install button. Accept. Once app is installed, open it up. Power up your spy camera. Once it's powered and you're going to see a flashing green light with the two second of delay, that means you are in a Wi-Fi pairing mode. If not, you need to keep hold of this mode button for 10 seconds to reset the camera to factory default settings. Now we have to wait for this green light to flash with every two seconds. So there we go, it's flashing now. You need to come back on your mobile phone and straight away go into the Wi-Fi settings. Now within your Wi-Fi connections, locate CMB973. This is our Freddy Wi-Fi spy camera. Once you're connected with it, come back on your HD mini camera app and click on to the search button. Now in here, you should be able to locate this camera. Press the return key. Now, now first we need to go into the settings to enter the Wi-Fi credential in our camera. To do so, you need to click on to the system cog button here and go down into the advanced config. In here, you should be able to locate Wi-Fi config. Click on it and enter the Wi-Fi information in here. This camera only supports 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, so make sure you have that one ready. Now, once you entered all your Wi-Fi setting in there, you can go online to the camera straight away. There we go. You can see them, the live feed, guys. This is all live, you see. It also gives you the battery status indicator of your camera, timing, and what camera name it is. Now to see more settings for your camera, click onto the system cog button here and go down into the advanced configuration where you're going to see the settings for alarm configuration, Wi-Fi, SD card recording configuration, IR LED configuration, timing, miscellaneous settings, changing your P2P access password, rebooting your camera and resetting it to the factory settings. Now, if you want this camera to record footage 24 hours, you can straight away go into the SD card and set it how you want it. At this moment of time, the camera is recording itself. You can also set the what day you want in terms of you want it on alarms or all day or timing wise. You can set it up easily and you can set the file size as well. You can also do the recording of your sound and also set as a loop. Loop, what I meant by the loop is basically it will keep recording. When the memory is full, it will start deleting the old files. That's a pretty decent and good feature. You can also format your SD card right from there. Now for the alarms, you can go in here and set up how you want them. UI motion detection, how much will be the interval and everything about it. Now for the nighttime recording, you need to go into the IR setup and you can set it manually or schedule it if you wanted to. Now, if you would like to see what is recorded by camera, you can straight away go into the bottom option in here where it says record and click and click onto the local and select where do you want to copy it from, from the SD card. Right in here, yes camera, online, that's right. There we go. Here you have all the footages which are recorded on this camera. Select the one you want. And there we go. That's how easy and straightforward it is. Now in here, you can also check the alarms too. If any alarm triggered a recording, you're going to see it right in here, which is for all cameras. If you have want to add any more of them in this app. Well, so far so good. Let me show you a couple of recorded footages of this camera.